Welcome in here, everybody, to the Hutzel Athletic Center. We're bringing to you the last regular season doubleheader on the year here for the St. Francis Cougars as they welcome in the Grace Lancers here on a women's senior night. Taking a deeper look here at these two squads as we are about a minute and a 30 away from senior night festivities. Two seniors to recognize here tonight for St. Francis and Fatima Valente and Reagan Paints here for the Cougars. And so we will get that here momentarily. But before that, we will go ahead and break down these two squads before we get going. First for the St. Francis Cougars. They come into this one at 15 and a 10 on the season. 8 and 8 in a conference play. The last outing, they took a tough loss at 76 to 70 to the number two team in the nation. The Marion Knights, they're out at Marion. Ali Madden led the way with 21 points and a five of boards. Emily Parrott right underneath her with 14 points there for St. Francis. Looking at the team stats here for the Cougars, they averaged 71 points per game, 36 rebounds per game, 12 turnovers per game, and a five steals per game here on this season. They did play the Great Slancers earlier this season where they took a 67-61 defeat. Reagan Pate, the senior, led the way with 12 points. Meanwhile, Julia Mantula with 11, and then Taylor Fordyce with 13 points off the bench for St. Francis. And so we are about 15 seconds away here from senior night festivities. So we are going to go ahead and turn it on over here to our PA announcer and Jared Parcell for them. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a senior night festivities in the books here at the Hutzel Athletic Center. 
Congratulations to Fatima Valente and Reagan Pate, who is out to tonight to due to an injury, so she will be not me making an appearance here tonight. And so she will be on the bench chance sideline here tonight as we get set here for the, this contest. Five minutes on the board. The clock is stopped here momentarily as they're waiting for the Lancers to hit the floor here once again. But we'll continue while we can do it and continue to break down here these two squads. As I mentioned, St. Francis 15 and 10, eight and eight on the season. And they are led by the junior number 11 in Chloe McKnight. She comes into this one averaging 13 points per game here on this season. Ali Madden has been a big presence down low here for the Cougars as well. Comes into this one averaging 11 and a half points per game. So she'll be a huge threat here tonight for the St. Francis Cougars squad to try to get a win against the Grace Lancers who come into this one at 13 and 13 on the season. Eight and eight in a conference play. Taking a look here at them. They're under sixth year head coach and a Dan Davis led Grace to their first ever NAIA tournament appearance last season. So continuing to do big things here for this uh, Grace uh, Lancer, Lancer squad, excuse me, 84 to 63 win over Bethel was their last outing last Saturday. Maddie Ryman led the way with a 21 points and eight rebounds there for the Lancers. Meanwhile, Kate Rooley with 21 points and eight boards as well. Last time they took on St. Francis, as I mentioned, and they got the win 67 to 61. Maddie Ryman led the way with 18 points and Morgan Hoke had 18 points as well there for Grace. Coming in to this contest, their leading scorer is the senior number 34 and Kaylee Patton. She comes into this one averaging 13 points per game. Had a record game, a record game last season where she scored 18 points in her highest scoring game against the St. Francis Cougars. Maddie Ryman also leads the way. The first team all Crossroads League player last season comes into this one averaging 16 points per game. Here for the Lancers. Lancers averaging 64 points per game, 33 rebounds per game, and 10 steals and 16 turnovers per game here on this season. So taking a look here at the Crossroads League schedule here tonight, we'll start it with that. You got St. Francis taking on Grace here. Indiana Wesleyan ahead 33-19 on Goshen. Meanwhile, Marion ahead 28-12 on Mount Vernon, Nazarene University. And then Taylor and Huntington have yet to start. Spring Arbor and Bethel yet to start as well. They're out at Bethel University. So the Crossroads League standings here coming to this one tonight. Marion sits atop the conference at 16 and 0. Indiana Wesleyan right behind them at 15 and 1. And Spring Arbor sits at third place at 12 and 4. So those three spots are locked up for the Crossroads League tournament as those three squads will host next week. And then we have a big jumble here for the fourth seed as the top four teams will host the Crossroads League tourney. It's St. Francis and Grace who sit at 8-8 eight and eight in conference play on the season. Meanwhile, Huntington at 7-9. and nine. So those three squads will be battling it out to see who will take home court advantage there in the first round of the Crossroads League tournament. Huntington sits right behind them at 7-9. and nine. Taylor at 6-10. and 10. Goshen at 4-12. and 12. Mount Vernon Nazarene University trying to battle back into it as only the top eight teams will make the Crossroads League tourney. They're sitting at 3-13. and 13. And Bethel is eliminated, sitting at 1 in 15, the bottom of the conference. And so we are about a minute and 30 away here from a basketball action here from the Huntsville Athletic Center on senior night. So we will step away here one more time and come back with the starting lineups. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Starting on ups in the books here from the Hutzel Athletic Center. We are getting set here for basketball action. It will be St. Francis and the all-white unis with a blue and a black trim. Meanwhile, Grace is going to rock the all-black unis with the red and white trim. So it is going to be Ali Madden and Kaylee Patton set to jump it here at midcourt. That's 10 minutes on the board. And we are underway. Tip is going to be one here to the Cougars. And they will start it here with possession. The team of Valente getting the start here on senior night for St. Francis. As I mentioned, their other senior here on the roster is Reagan Pate. And she is not in play here tonight. Out to do to an injury. And so it's Grace with possession. That's up top into the hands of Kenzie Ryman. Morgan Hawks moves it to that far side of wing. Double team brought out. Goes in the hands of Ryman. Comes back here near side. Skip down low. Nice find. And a foul is going to be called. And it will be called on Emily Parrott. That's going to be her first. Team's first of the quarter. And so that is going to send number 21 and Peyton Murphy to the charity stripe to shoot a pair. The junior comes into this one averaging eight points per game. 77% free throw shooter here on the season. Her first free throw is up and off the front end of the rim. Back end of the iron and no good. She'll have a shot at one more here for Grace. Second free throw is up and good there. And Payne Murphy gives the Lancers the one-point lead. Parrott with it now here for St. Francis. Skips it far side in the corner. McKnight the look down low. Madden spins. Hangs couldn't get it to fall. Nice board down low by McKnight. She'll go up and draw the contact. And she will head to the line now to shoot a pair here for St. Francis. As we head the other way, Peyton Murphy will pick up the foul there for Grace. That'll be her first, team's first. And so the leading scorer here for St. Francis and Chloe McKnight at the free throw line to shoot a pair. She hits there on the first, comes into this one. An 81% free throw shooter on the season, 13 points per game. And she hits them both with a one dribble free throw here for the Cougs. Now ahead here by one. Vital matchup here between these two squads looking for fourth place in the Crossroads League tournaments as the top four teams do host. So we will see who will come out with the victory here tonight. As it's at the top of the key here with Matty Ryman. Five seconds. Foul is going to be called. Check it. It'll be a jump ball. We'll stay on this end. And it'll be an inbound here for Grace with 8.45 left to go here in our first quarter of action. And so they're going to put five seconds on the shot clock as we'll get an inbound underneath here for Grace. They get it into the hands of Murphy with it and a foul is going to be called off the ball. As Ali Madden, far side. Grace now comes away here with possession. Well, Wi-Fi difficulties here to start this contest. We'll try to get those figured out along the way here tonight as it is Grace 
Possession at the top of the key. Murphy dishes it off on that far side of the drive down low. Gizzy with great hands up defense there for St. Francis. Able to knock it away. She'll move it up the floor with it at the free throw line. Skips out. They go far side. Parrott the dish down low to Madden. She'll go up strong and gets the bucket. And so it'll be possession down here with Grace. Murphy, the dish off now into the hands of Ryman. Look down low. Murphy goes up, draws the contact, and a foul is going to be called. With 6.01 remaining here in our first quarter of action. Going to be on Allie Madden. That's her first. Team's third. Check it. Emily Parrott will pick up the foul. That's going to be her second. And the team's third. And so Taylor Fordyce, Julia Mantilla, and Carly Culberson will check on for St. Francis as they replace Ali Madden, Team Valente, and Emily Parrott for St. Francis. First free throw is up and no good there for Murphy, who is back at the line here for Grace. Second free throws off the front of the rim. No good. Missed them both. And so it'll be the freshman, Fordyce, who will bring it up ahead here for St. Francis. Gizzy, far side now into the hands of Cooperson. Dish down low. Mantela, nice find there. She goes up and gets the bucket. And so Julia Mantela gets the score for St. Francis. Now ahead here by seven. The bucket it is good down low by Kaylee Patton. And so 520 left to go. It is possession on that far side. The dish down low. It's poked from behind. Here come the Lancers the other direction. The drive drawing the contact down low. And that is going to send a number three. And Matty Ryman to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Now here for Grace. Fouls called on Isabella Gizzi. That's her first, team's fourth. And so it'll be Maddie Ryman to the free throw line. First free throw is up and good there for her. Leading scorer here on the season for Grace is 16 points per game here on the year. An 84% free throw shooter as she hits there on the second as well. And so it'll be Gizzi who will bring it. To Fordyce on this near side, Culberson. Now with it here for St. Francis. Looking to drive down low. This is off to Mantilla. As he gets it off now to Fordyce. With it on that far side, a wing. Fordyce back with it at the top of the key. Skip here near side. Gets he left open. She'll launch a three. Couldn't get it to fall. Board battled for down low. And Grace able to come away now here with possession. As they move it. Here on this near side of wing. Skip up top into the hands there of Molly Long, who just checked into the contest for Grace. As the drive down low, nicely done there. As Ryman gets the bucket and makes it a one-point game. Mantilla now with it. Up ahead here for St. Francis. McKnight, far side, up top to Culberson. Look down low for Nice. This is off, Culberson, the drive off glass, couldn't get it to fall. Board tipped out to Fordyce with it up top. McKnight gets the defender to jump, she'll pull up. Couldn't get that one to fall, and board is knocked out of bounds there by Grace with 3.55 left to go here in our first quarter of action. It'll be an inbound here for St. Francis. One-point lead for the Cougars. We'll get a substitution here for Grace as number 44, Katie Rooley, We'll check on the senior. Comes into this one here for Grace College. Inbound from Fordyce underneath. Skip there, far side now to Culberson. The dish off, Fordyce with it here on this near side wing. Culberson back far side. Fordyce with it at the free throw line. Skips here near side. McKnight hits the triple for St. Francis. And it will now be possession 
here with Grace. As the dish down low. Skip here on this near side. We're going to go over top and an offensive foul is called on the Cougars. As a block is called on Carly Culberson. That's going to be her first and the team's fifth. And so with 3.20 left to go here in our first quarter of action. Uh, so it'll be Rolly who will head to the free throw line here for Grace. 3.23 left to go here in our first. The first free throw is off the front end of the rim. No good. Second one for Rulli. And we're going to get another substitution into the contest here for Grace. As they will inbound right in front of the St. Francis bench. Here with 122 left. Skip here on this near side. Murphy dishes it out. Patton with it. Two seconds on the shot clock. Culberson strips it away. And we're going to get a shot clock violation called on Grace. And so possession will go back now with St. Francis here with one minute left to go. It's a three-point lead here for the Cougars. As it's up top with Gizzy, far side now into the hands of McKnight. Looking to drive down low. And nicely done there. She goes round and gets the bucket. And so. With 30 seconds left to go. It's Grace who gets the bucket here on this other end. As Kaylee Patton gets the score. And it will be possession now with Isabella Gizzi here for St. Francis at the top of the key. Skips far side, Culberson looking down low for Fordyce. Poked out of bounds with seven seconds left to go. And we'll get an inbound underneath here for Grace. As 15 to 12 is our score, St. Francis with the lead. And we'll go back. Now to the Lancers as Ali Madden picks up the foul. That's her second. And so Carly Cooperson will come on here and replace her. As it will be Grace who will bring possession. Up ahead to kick here in the corner. On this near side to drive. We'll look up top. Now here into the hands of Patton, who will have it at the top of the key. The dish down low, nice fine underneath, couldn't get that to fall, but a foul is going to be called on St. Francis. As Julia Mansell will pick up the foul, that's going to be her first team second. And so that's going to send Kate Rooley to the charity stripe to shoot a pair. Here for Grace. First free throw is up and good. Apologize for the technical difficulties here tonight. As the Wi-Fi is not cooperating with us, but the second free throw there is up and good for Ruley. And so it will be Fordyce who will bring it up ahead now here for St. Francis. Cool percent. We'll have it on this near side wing. Now to McKnight. Dish up top. Gizzy able to catch up to it here for the Cougars. McKnight up top now here into the hands of Gizzy. Back to McKnight. She'll launch a three. Couldn't get that to fall. Off the back end of the iron. And it's Fordyce. 
Gets it off to Mansilla. Up top to Gizzy. Looking to drive. Kicks here near side. McKnight and a bounce pass down low. Mansilla couldn't get that to fall. And so possession will go back now here to the Lancers. As the dish over top, Ruley goes up and gets the bucket. And so Kate Ruley with the score there for Grace. And so possession will go back to St. Francis. McKnight with it here on this near side of wing. Gives he back to McKnight. She's it off up top. Now here into the hands of Cooperson. And that one's going to be poked away. Quickly up the floor. Ryman, the jumper, couldn't get that to roll. And possession comes down now here for St. Francis. As McKnight will bring it up ahead. Skips it here on this whole athletic center. And inbound here for St. Francis. As it's on this near side to Mantilla. This is off. They swing it on that far side. Now into the hands of McKnight. Fordyce will have it at the top of the key. She'll spin. Kicks it here on this near side. Now into the hands of Cooperson. Up top. Jumper on the way. It's good there for Taylor Fordyce. And I believe we're going to get a foul call down low as well on Grace College. And so the officials having a discussion now underneath. All underneath. As uh, so they're going to call a foul on Kaylee Patton. That's going to be her first. And so St. Francis gets the bucket, and a foul is called as well. Uh, St. Francis ahead here by one with 6.05 left to go. And no inbound underneath here coming from McKnight's. This is it off. Now here into the hands of Coolberson. Far side, Gizzy with it for the Cougars. Off to McKnight. She'll launch a three. Couldn't get that to fall. And the board comes down now here for Grace College. Murphy with the handoff on that far side of wing. Skip here to Patton. Dish down low. Ruley goes up. Couldn't get it. Got it to go. And so it'll be possession. Now with St. Francis as the dish underneath. Julia Mantilla goes up and gets the bucket. Dish off here on this near side to Patton. The look down low to Rulli. And a foul is going to be called with 5-11 left to go. Julia Mantilla will pick up the foul. That's going to be her second. And for team... Fatima Valente will come on and replace Chloe McKnight. Meanwhile, Ali Madden will check back on as well as she comes in for Julia Mantilla. And so 5-11 left here to go in our second. It'll be an inbound underneath here for Ryman. And she is able to get it. And all the way up top to drive here on this near side. Skip it. All the way far side. Now into the hands of Ryman. With it to drive down low. She goes off glass. Couldn't get it to fall. But a board. Nicely done there. And Rutley gets the bucket for Grace. Gizzy. Far side. Now to Cooperson. Skip it all the way here on this near side. Madden with it. Trying to go up top into the hands of Gizzy. And it was thrown away. Ryman, this is an off up top. The drive poked from behind. Nicely done to there defensively by St. Francis. Poked out of bounds. It'll be an inbound here for Grace. As Alexi Shelton will check on here for Ali Madden as both the bigs here for St. Francis and Julia Mantilla and Ali Madden both in foul trouble here into this one. And so it's at the top of the key. Now here into the hands of Murphy. With it here on this near side of wing. Skips it off up top. They'll move it on that far side of Ryman. And a foul is going to be called. Number 
Isabella Gizzi will pick up the foul. It's going to be her second, team's fourth. And so a lot of players in foul trouble here early for St. Francis as Chloe McKnight will check on here for the Cougars. Looking at the foul trouble here so far for St. Francis, Julia Mansla, Allie Madden, Emily Parrott, Isabella Gizzi all with two fouls apiece here for the Cougars so far. And so some final pieces in foul trouble here for head coach Jeremy Henney and the St. Francis Cougars. And so a three-second violation is the call on Grace. And so possession will go back now here with the Cougars with four minutes left to go. Here in our second quarter of action. Coulberson, far side now into the hands of Shelton. Valente up top, McKnight skips it on that far side. Coulberson has it poked away and threw it off a Grace defender. And so St. Francis going to maintain possession. As it'll be an inbound here for McKnight and the Cougars on that far side. That's three seconds on the shot clock. Coberson tried to pass and shot clock violation. Going to be the call for St. Francis. And so possession. We'll go back now here to Grace. As Patton will check on here for Grace College. And we'll get an inbound here for the Lancers. As far side. Three ball attempt on the way, it's no good. And we're going to call that last touch by St. Francis. And so it's going to be an inbound underneath here for Grace. With 3.19 left to go. As they'll put 20 seconds back on the shot clock. And on this near side, three balls, no good. McKnight comes away with it here for St. Francis. Off to Fordyce. We will move it up ahead for the Cougars. Cooperson skips here to Valente on this near side wing. Back to Cooperson with it at the top of the key. Looking to dish down low. To Fordyce, and it's poked away defensively there by Grace. And Culberson rips it away for St. Francis, and a foul is going to be called on Grace. And so possession will go back to St. Francis with 2.30 left to go. Coulberson skips here on this near side up top to Valente. Shelton in the corner now to Coulberson. Gibson on up top. Shelton, extra pass now here to McKnight. Ten seconds on the shot clock. McKnight dishes off. Cooperson, three ball on the way. It is no good. And possession comes down now here to the Lancers. As quickly the other way. Patton with it drives down low, draws the contact. And she'll head to the line now to shoot a pair here for Grace College. Shelton will pick up the foul. That's going to be her first team's fifth. Patton's first free throw is up and no good. And she'll have a shot at one more here for 
Grace Collins, as she does hit there on the second. And so it will be Fordyce who will bring it up ahead now here for St. Francis. On say. Now with it on that far side, up top into the hands of McKnight. Shelton, dish out. Fordyce from deep, got it. Taylor Fordyce hits the triple for St. Francis. Skip here on this near side. And Shelton pokes it away defensively here for the Cougars. As Cooper sent the other direction. Skips it off up top. Now into the hands of Fordyce. Alante with it on that far side of wing. Poked down underneath. And loose on the deck. Grace able to come away with possession. 110 left to go. Ryman. We'll have it now here at the top of the key for Grace College. This is it off on this near side. And that one's going to be poked out of bounds. Possession will stay on this end here with Grace College. Kenzie Ryman will come on here for Grace College. And so we'll get an inbound here for Matty Ryman. As they get it in here near side, three ball from Patton is no good. And the board comes down now here for Fordyce. Skips here in the corner, McKnight with it here now on this near side of wing. This is it off up top into the hands of Fordyce. She'll have it at the top of the key. Look to McKnight. Back to Fordyce with it up top. The dish down low. Turn around shot. No good for Colberson. And possession comes down now here for Grapes. As Grace going to look to hold for the final shot here in our second quarter of action. Look underneath. Nicely done there. The reverse lay-in is up and good for Murphy. And Grace College going to head into the break with the one-point lead over St. Francis. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. We think we got all the technical difficulties figured out and should be good to go here for our second half of action. It is Grace 23, St. Francis 22 here at our halftime break. Let's go ahead and run down the halftime scores there for you. And taking a look here at Grace, it was Morgan Hook who led the way with four points on the starting side of things for Grace College. Meanwhile, Peyton Murphy had a three and Maddie Reitman with a two. Off the bench, it was Kaylee Patton with five and then Katie Rutley with nine points there for Grace. They shot eight of 25 there in the first half of action and 0 of 8 from beyond the arc there as well for Great Scotland. Meanwhile, for St. Francis, it was Emily Pirrett who finished the first half with a two points. Chloe McKnight with seven. Ali Madden with a four. Taylor Fordyce with five. And Julia Mansela with four points for St. Francis. They shot nine of 20 from field goal range and then a two of eight from beyond the arc. And they were two for two from the charity stripe. They're in the first half of action. So one to 35 remains here on our halftime clock. So we are gonna step away and take one more break. We'll come back here with the second half of action. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live as we are getting set here for our third quarter of action. It'll be an inbound across the way here for Grace as Kaylee Patton set to inbound here for the Lancers. And so it will be Kenzie Ryman who will bring it up ahead here for Grace. She'll have it at the top of the key. And shot clock did not start in the time. And so we'll stop the clock and put... More time on the shot clock. Check it. Less time on the shot clock. 24 seconds will be on it. And we'll get an inbound here for Grace. That far side. As Kaylee Patton will inbound once again here for the Lancers. Ryman. Dish down low. Looking for Patton with it on that far side of wing. She'll drive and Tamantula down low. Nice hands up defense played by her. Able to knock it away here for St. Francis. Parrots will move it quickly up the floor on this near side of wing. Into the hands now of McKnight. She'll dish off up top to Gizzy. Back to McKnight with it here on the near side. Skip cross court. Mantula back up top. Move it here to this near side. McKnight looking to drive baseline. Eight seconds on the shot clock. She'll dish off. Parrot. Look down low, trying to find Madden, and it's taken away. Here comes Grace, the other direction. Kenzie Ryman will have it on that far side wing here for the Lancers. They move it here to this near side, Hawk with it. She'll skip off up top. Back now on that far side of the hands of Ryman. Had it partially poked away, but able to maintain it. Here for Grace in the corner with seven seconds on the shot clock. Skip up top. Patton with it out here on this near side. A three ball is up and good there for Matty Ryman. And so Matty Ryman makes it a four point lead here for Grace. 8.35 left to go here in our third quarter of action. It's Gizzy to Mantilla. Back to Gizzy. They'll skip far side now into the hands of McKnight. Madden with it at the free throw line. Extra pass. Gizzy looking to drive. Try to kick it out here on this near side of Mantilla, but they'll get it off to her. She'll have it here with five seconds on the shot clock. 
Pirates looking to drive down low. Offensive foul is going to be called on Emily Pirates. And so that is going to be her third of personal, the team's first of the quarter. And so Taylor Fordyce will check into the contest here for her as Emily Parrott still scoreless in today's contest. And she'll take a seat now here for the Cougars as the freshman Taylor Fordyce comes in and replaces her. Kenzie Ryman dishes it off up top. Right there on that far side. They go down low. Nicely done there. The bucket is good for Kaylee Patton. And so a six-point lead here for the Lancers with 7.50 left to go here in our third. It's McKnight up top to Gizzy. Back to McKnight with it here near side. She'll skip cross court to Fordyce. Gizzy with it at the top of the key. Madden, the dish down low. Mantilla and one opportunity. Count it for Julia Mantilla. And she'll head to the line to shoot one here for St. Francis. Foul is going to be called on a number 21 in Peyton Murphy. That's going to be her second team's first of the quarter. And so Mantilla, the sophomore, comes into this one averaging seven points per game and 83% free throw shooter will head to the line to shoot one here for St. Francis. As head coach Dan Davis not too pleased about that call by the official. Mantilla misses the free throw and Grace College will bring possession the other way. Ryman will have it. Looking to drive down low. And an offensive foul is the call on Ryman. Or check it, that's Hulk who picks up the foul. And so that's her first team second. And Coach Davis once again and not too pleased of the call by the official. And so it'll be St. Francis with the basketball. As McKnight gives he far sign now into the hands of Fordyce. She'll get it back. The freshman on that far side. McKnight. Off to Mantilla. The sophomore skips in the corner. Fordyce from deep. Couldn't get that to fall. And Board is trying to be kept in bounds there by McKnight as she was walking a thin line there on the out-of-bounds line. And so possession will go back now here to the Lancers. With 6.50 left to go. Here in our third quarter of action. Both these squads sitting at eight and eight here in a conference play. Looking to lock up that home court advantage for the first game in the Crossroads League tourney. As Fordyce, the freshman stop and pop and she gets the bucket. And so it'll be possession. Now back with the Lancers on that far side as we've got ourselves a two point game. It's Ryman with it. Skips here near side. Look into the hands here of Ryman. Murphy skips out here near side. A three ball on the way. It's up and good there for Kenzie Ryman. And a quick timeout is called by Grace. It's a 30 second one. We'll step away. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. here live at the Hutzel Athletic Center as it is an inbound here for St. Francis. Gizzy will have it now here on this near side wing. McKnight up top into the hands now here of Fordyce. Back to Gizzy with it here on this near side. Fordyce will have it at the top of the key. McKnight skips here near side. Gizzy the look down low now here to Madden. Skips it out. Fordyce thought about the three instead. Dishes it down low. 
Mantilla, nicely done there. The spin off glass. She gets the bucket. And so possession. Now back with Grace. As it's Patton. Trying to get the look down low. And McKnight was able to jump it here for St. Francis. She'll have it now here on this near side of wing. Fordyce with it up top. Skips here near side. Dish down low. Madden with it. Looking to post up on her defender out to Gizzy. Mantilla back out to Gizzy in the corner. She'll launch a three. Couldn't get it to fall. McKnight comes away with the board. Goes up and spins and puts it home. Chloe McKnight gets the bucket for St. Francis. Possession now here on this near side. A skip up top. Move it to that far side of wing. It's Murphy with a look down low, and a foul is going to be called. Allie Madden going to pick up the foul for St. Francis. That'll be her third, team second. And so Lexi Shelton will come on and replace Allie Madden here for St. Francis. And we'll get an inbound underneath here for the Lancers. As it's Maddie Ryman who will inbound. Skip here on this near side. Couldn't get that to fall. Nice board underneath. Second chance opportunity is up. And couldn't get neither shots to go. And possession comes down now here for St. Francis. Gizzy up top to Fordyce. Far side. Shelton in the corner. Looking for somewhere to go. He's able to get it off now here to Mantilla. Mantilla, the nice as he moved there. She goes up and gets the bucket. And so Julia Mantilla with the score for St. Francis to give them the one-point lead. As it is possession. Now here on this near side, Maddie Ryman with it. As she drives down low and gets the bucket. And so it'll be Fordyce who will bring it up ahead. Now here for St. Francis. She'll get it back now at the top of the key. Skip here in the corner to Shelton. Try to get the defender to jump instead. Dishes it off down low. Mantilla off glass. She gets the bucket. Nicely done there by Mantilla to use the strength and she gets the score. One point lead now here for St. Francis. Dish on that far side wing. Look at a screen, looking to dive down low. And out of bounds is going to be the call. Possession will go back now to St. Francis with 314 left to go. Emily Parrott will come back into the contest here for St. Francis as she is going to replace Julia Mantilla. And so it'll be Fordyce who will bring it up ahead now here for St. Francis. Far side to Gizzy in the corner now to Shelton. Try to get it up ahead up top to the freshman. And Fordyce taken away. Ryman the other direction. She goes up and gets the bucket. And so it'll be possession. Now with St. Francis as Fordyce. This is off. They go back far side. Now into the hands there. Gizzy up top. Fordyce the dish. Now here into the hands of Parrott. She'll get it off to Shelton. Looking to get it off. And a three-second call. It's going to be the call. And so possession will go back now to Grace. As Ali Manon will check back on here for St. Francis. And so with 2.30 left to go. It will be possession. Now with Grace has the skip here near side corner three ball is wide there on the marker and it's going to be McKnight who comes away with it here for St. Francis. Have it at the top of the key skips here near side now into the hands there Gizzy. Back to McKnight Parrot with it skips in the corner Gizzy able to skip it on that far side nice ball movement being done here by the Cougars as that one poked 
Out of bounds, and we will get check it. A foul is going to be the call. Check it, kick ball. It's the call, so it'll be an inbound underneath here for St. Francis as Emily Parrott will inbound. It's Cougars down to one. She'll get it in up top here to Gissy. Fordyce now with it here at the top of the key. Back far side, Fordyce dishes it off. Madden tries to get it over top there to Parrott. And travel is going to be the call. And so possession will go back now to Grace here with 137 left to go here in our third quarter of action. As it will be the Lancers with possession on that far side of wing. Skip it here on this near side. Murphy able to dish it off. On a Ryman up top. Patton with it. Back here on this near side. Murphy looking to drive. Five seconds on the shot clock. She'll drive down low. Couldn't get it to fall. And Fordyce comes away with it here for St. Francis. She'll bring it across the half-court line. Skips here on this near side. Madden with it underneath here for the Cougars. And a timeout is going to be called by head coach Jeremy Henney and St. Francis. So we will step away. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. We'll get an inbound underneath here for St. Francis as Chloe McKnight will inbound here for the Cougars out of the timeout called by head coach Jeremy Henney. Cougars will have two timeouts remaining. Meanwhile, Grace with four. And so it's Gizzy who will have it on that far side of wing here for St. Francis. Four dice with it now at the top of the key. Far side into the hands of McKnight. Five seconds on the shot clock. She'll get it back here near side, launches a three, couldn't get it to go, and didn't hit anything. And so that one's going to roll out of bounds. It will be possession. Now with the Lancers here, 39 and a half seconds left to go here in our third quarter of action. So there will be a nine and a half second difference between the shot clock and the game clock here, as it will be Ryman who will bring it up ahead here for Grace. She'll have it on that far side of wing. Moves it here to this near side of the drive, and a foul is going to be called. It will be on at number 11, and Chloe McKnight, that's going to be her first in the team's third. And so that is going to send a number three, and Maddie Ryman to the charity stripe. The senior comes into this one, averaging 16 points per game here on the year. Nine points tonight. Her first free throw is up and a good, and she extends the Lancers' lead out to two. And so Ryman, last year was a first team all Crossroads League player. That's her second free throw, rattles in and out. And so it will be Fortnite, but we'll bring it up ahead now here for St. Francis. Cross the half court line. Skips it here on this near side to McKnight. Up top, Gizzy, far side, now back to Fortnite. Parrott to look over top, tried to get it off to Mantilla. And they're going to call that last touch by Grace. And so it will be an inbound underneath here for St. Francis with seven seconds left to go here in our third quarter of action. And so Ali Madden will check into the contest and replace Fordyce. Parrots on the inbound here for St. Francis. Gets it off to Gizzy. 
who will have it at the top of the key. Out to McKnight, two seconds, she'll launch a three, no good. Oh, Madden tried to tip it in there, but that's the end of our third quarter. That bucket was no good. It's Grace 36, St. Francis 34. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center, fourth quarter underway as it is an inbound here for St. Francis. Emily Peretz will move it up ahead here for the Cougars. Dish down low from Gizzy to Mansela. Out here on this near side to Fordyce. Gizzy to McKnight with it on that far side of wing. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. McKnight, the dish down low, Parrott out here near side. Fordyce will launch a three, no good. And a foul is going to be called on the floor underneath, and I believe it's going to be on the Lancers, and that will be the call. As number 34, Kaylee Patton, will pick up the foul. It's going to be her second team's first of the quarter. And so it'll be Parrott, who will inbound underneath here for St. Francis with 9.33 left to go. McKnight. We'll have it on that far side of wing here for the Cougars. Fordyce now with it at the top of the key. To McKnight with it here near side. Skips cross court now into the hands of Gizzy. Fordyce with it up top. Dribbles kicks it here near side. Three ball on the way. It's up and good there for Chloe McKnight. And Julia Mantilla hit the deck hard here for St. Francis. And off the elevator screen as she is banged up. Here for the Cougars, and so Ali Madden will check into the contest here for St. Francis now ahead here by one. And so Mantilla will head to the trainer here on this near side, and we'll get an inbound here for Grace. 9 10 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Skip here on this near side. It's Murphy with it. Uh, far side. Ryman. She'll get a screen. Kicks it here on this near side to Patton. Murphy back to Patton. Far side. Ryman will launch a three. Got it. Matty Ryman hits the triple there for Grace. Gives them back the two point lead. Parrott quickly up the floor. Looks like a 2 3 zone. Being ran now here by the Lancers as they try to get it here near side. And it will be an inbound here for St. Francis. As McKnight will inbound here for the Cougars. Fordyce will have it at the top of the key. Gizzy now with it here near side back to McKnight. Back to Gizzy here near side. She'll launch a three. Couldn't get that to fall. And the board comes down. Now to Ruley. And quick the other way. Here come the Lancers. Ryman. And an offensive foul is going to be the call. As Kate Ruley will pick up the offensive foul. That's going to be her second. The team's second of the quarter. And it will be an inbound here for St. Francis. As Emily Perrett will inbound for the Cougars. Fordyce will now bring it up ahead here for St. Francis. 
McKnight back to Fordyce with it at the top of the key. The dish now to Parrott. Over top, Madden with it down low. And she threw it off the Grace defender there. Smartly, nicely done there by Allie Madden. And we'll get an inbound here for St. Francis with 7.53 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. As it will be Parrott who will inbound for the Cougars. Gets it in now here to Madden with it on this near side. Looking to drive. Gizzy comes away with it. And we'll see what the call is. It's going to be a foul called on Grace. Murphy will pick up the foul. That's going to be her third and the team's third. And someone in bound will come underneath here for Emily Parrott and St. Francis. As they're able to get it in. Here to Fordyce. Triple team underneath. Jump ball is called. And possession will go back to the Lancers. Here with 7.49 left to go. Here in our fourth quarter of action. Julia Mansella will check back on. A good sign for, excuse me, for St. Francis. And she makes an appearance after hitting the deck hard for the Cougars there on the last outing she had. And so it will be Ryman. Skips on that far side. Now to Ryman. Can't see Ryman, that is. Dish off. Now to Ruley. Going to drive on Madden down low. And Mantilla tips it off to Madden. And it will be Parrott who will bring it up ahead here for St. Francis. Out to McKnight with it here on this near side of wing. Far side, Parrots. Now with it here for St. Francis. Back to McKnight. She'll launch a three. No good there. And the board comes down in the hands of Ruley. Patton will bring it up ahead now here for Grace. With it on that far side, seven minutes left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. The dish over top, down low. Couldn't get it to go. Board is knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Grace. And so we'll get an inbound here for St. Francis. Cougars with two timeouts remaining. Meanwhile, Grace with four. As we come down to the final stretch here of our fourth quarter of action, it'll be Parrott who skips far side. Gives he back up top to Parrott. We'll go to Mantilla up top. Parrott's now going to look to drive. Skips up top into the hands now here at Gizzy. Out to McKnight. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Parrots now looking to drive baseline. She'll go up and under. Couldn't get it to go, but Madden there for the cleanup. She gets the bucket. And we are knotted up here at 39 all. Ryman with it here on this near side. Up top into the hands of Patton. Far side. And that one's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Cougars. And it will be an inbound here for Grace before that will get a timeout called by the Lancers. We'll step away. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. We will get an inbound here for Grace. Has knotted up at 39 all with 6.05 left to go. It's going to be Ryman who will inbound here down to the hands of Patton. With it on that far side of wing. A spin nicely done there as Kaylee Patton gets the bucket. Now with nine points on the night here for the senior. Parrots will now have it at the top of the key. Gizzy with it up top for St. Francis. Parrot now with it on that far side of wing. Gizzy the look down low. Mantilla off to Madden. 
Out to Parrott here. Now looking to drive for St. Francis. Offensive foul is going to be called on Emily Parrott, and that's going to be her fourth foul. And possession will go back now to the Lancers here. As that is the first team foul called in this quarter on St. Francis with 5.32 left to go. And Emily Parrott will check out. Carly Culverson will come on here for her. As it will be Ryman who will bring it up ahead now here for Grace. With 5.26 left to go here in our fourth. The drive from Ryman could get that to fall. And Gizzi comes down with the board here for St. Francis. Skips here on this near side to McKnight. Far side, Culberson will look down low to Mantilla. Uh, trying to get it off there to Madden and a tie up. Jump ball is called. Possession will stay on this end here with the Cougars. And we'll get an inbound for St. Francis. As Taylor Fortnite will come on and replace Sally Madden here for St. Francis. And so it'll be Fordyce here to inbound for the Cougars. Gets it in on that far side. Now to Coolberson. Fordyce trying to skip it here near side. It's kicked. And possession will go back to Grace. Off the kickball from St. Francis. As head coach Jeremy Henney got to get an explanation from the official underneath here. About to call. And it will be Ryman. Who will bring it up ahead here for Grace. With it here now on this near side of wing. Ryman looking to drive. Out of bounds. Possession will go back to St. Francis. Another stop for the Cougars on the defensive end. And so it will be Gizzi who will bring it up ahead here for St. Francis. Across the half court line to Cooperson. Far side now into the hands there of McKnight. Gizzi off to Cooperson. Look to Fordyce. Has Gizzi behind her. Left open. She'll launch to three. Got it. Isabella Gizzi hits the triple. And she gives St. Francis the one-point lead with 4.15 left. And a foul is going to be called down low on Chloe McKnight. And so that's going to be her second and the team's second. And so we'll get an inbound underneath here for Grace. 4.11 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. As they get it in to Murphy. With it here on this near side, off to Patton. Patton spins, hangs, got it. Nice finish there by Patton. And she is now in double digits in scoring. 11 points on the night here for Kulberson. We'll have it up top for St. Francis. Fordyce to look underneath. Mantilla, oh, couldn't get that to fall. But she will head to the line to shoot a pair of free throws here for St. Francis. As Peyton Murphy will pick up the foul. That's going to be her fourth. And the team's fourth of the quarter. And so Mansilla, the sophomore, will now head to the line to shoot a pair here for St. Francis. 12 points on the night already here for her first free throw. Is up and good. Ties it up at 43 all. With 3.48 left to go. It will be Mansilla. At the line here for one more. Trying to give St. Francis the lead, and she does do so. And we'll get a substitution here for Grace. Uh, it's number 44, and Kate Rowley will come into the contest here for her. And it will be an inbound here for Grace. As Kenzie Ryman will bring it up ahead here for the Lancers. 
with it at the top of the key. She'll move it here to this near side of wing. With the dish it off up top. There to Hulk. Hulk nicely done there to stop. She pops and gets the bucket. And a timeout will be called here by Grace. They'll have two remaining. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center, 328 to left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. It's a one-point lead here for the Lancers as it will be an inbound here for St. Francis. Here just to the left of us at the Hutzel Athletic Center. And so Gizzy will inbound for the Cougars and it will be Carly Culberson who will bring it up ahead here for St. Francis. Fordyce. Coberson extra pass far side. Gizzy now with it, picks up her dribble. Coberson able to tip it ahead, try to get it off to Mantilla. And we're going to get a foul called on Grace. Kent T. Ryman will pick up the foul. That's going to be her first, the team's fifth. And so it'll be Cartley Coberson who will head to the line to shoot a pair here for St. Francis. Coberson, the junior, missed the majority of this season here for St. Francis. But it's back in action now as her first free throw is up and good and ties it up at 45 all. The second free throw for Kuberson. Kutla as daylight she gives St. Francis the one point lead. And it will be Ryman who will now bring it up ahead here for Grace with it at the top of the key. Ryman moves it to that far side. Picks up her dribble. Able to skip it off up top to Ruley. Now to Patton with it here on this near side of wing. Trying to get a hand off here and is able to get it off to Hope. Guarded by McKnight. The dish underneath. And a foul is going to be called. Mantilla trying to play hands up defense. And she'll pick up her third foul. And that will be the team's fourth. And so that's going to send Kate Ruley to the free throw line here for Grace. The senior comes into this one, 50% at the free throw line. Her first free throw is up, and she hits it. Ties it up at 46 all. Second one for Ruley is on the way, and it's up and good. And she gives the Lancers a one-point lead. Coolberson quickly up the floor here for St. Francis to Gizzy. Now to McKnight, who will have it on that far side of wing. Fordyce to look over top. Now into the hands of Mantilla, trying to get through traffic here. And a foul is going to be called. As head coach Dan Davis not pleased to have the call there by the official. And so that's going to send Julia Mantilla to the free throw line. Here for St. Francis. As her first free throw is up and good. It ties it back up here at 47 to all. Second one for Mantilla is up and good as well. And so Carly Cooperson will check out of the contest. Allie Madden will come on for her. And then number 21, 
And Peyton Murphy will come on here for Grace as she replaces number 44 and Kate Rowley. And so an inbound will come here from Patton. She gets it into Ryman, who will bring it up ahead on that far side of wing. Ryman with it now at the top of the key. Skips there on the far side, the look down low. Nice drive, but before that, travel is called, and possession will go back to St. Francis as Carly Culberson will quickly check back in here for the Cougars as she replaces number 40 and Allie Madden. And so a one-point lead here for St. Francis, 2-10 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action as it will be Gizzy. But we'll bring it up ahead here for St. Francis with it at the top of the key to McKnight. With it here near side, Gizzy. Now far side into the hands of Culberson. Gizzy off to Fordyce, far side. Culberson will launch from deep. Couldn't get it to fall there. And the board comes down to the hands of Patton. And it will be Ryman who will have it now here on this near side of wing for Grace. Guarded by Gizzy. Ryman going to get a screen. Gizzy will stay with her. They'll get it down low to Patton. Far side. Three ball up and a no good there from Murphy. And Gizzy comes away with the board here for St. Francis. Across the half court line. She'll have it now at the top of the key. McKnight with it now on this near side. Culberson off to Fordyce. Has Gizzy. Far side. She'll launch a three. Got it. The freshman with the triple for St. Francis. And a timeout is called by the Cougars. We will step away. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. It's Ryman from three short on the marker and possession will go to the Cougars with 11 seconds left to go. Substitution for St. Francis as Carly Culberson will check into the contest and replace the team of Valente. And a timeout is called by head coach Jeremy Henney and the St. Francis Cougars will step away one more time. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center, 11.6 seconds on the board. Here in our fourth quarter of action, it will be an inbound for St. Francis out of the timeout called by head coach Jeremy Henney. Both squads with no timeouts remaining, and it will be an inbound here for St. Francis right in front of their bench. It will be Chloe McKnight here to inbound for the Cougars. Uh, she'll get it into Fordyce, who will have it now on that far side, and she is fouled quickly. With nine seconds on the clock, it will be the freshman to head to the line to shoot a pair. Taylor Fordyce comes into this one, averaging an 84% from the charity stripe. The freshman out of Carroll High School, Fort Wayne, Indiana. And so number 21, and Peyton Murphy fouls out of the contest. Becca Marshall will come on here for her as the first free throw from Fordyce is up and rolls home. And so a crucial free throw as Fortnice makes it a two-possession game. We'll get one more free throw here from the freshman. Second one is no good. Oh, my goodness, McKnight with the board underneath and... She is called out of bounds with 7.3 seconds left to go. And so it'll be an inbound here for Grace as they are down four. And so they get it in 
Now here into the hands of Ryman and Gizzi fouls Ryman with three seconds on the clock. And so Isabella Gizzi will pick up the foul for the Cougars. And so it will be another inbound here for Grace as Ryman catches the inbound. She'll launch it from half court. No good. And the Cougars are going to hold on to win this one in advance to a nine and eight in a conference play. Meanwhile, Grace will fall to eight and nine. So a huge win for St. Francis. They win it 54 to 50 over the Grace Lancers. And so that's a big win for the Cougars. Let's see what the Huntington score is. The Forsters won 62 to 49. So St. Francis will sit at the number four seed all alone in fourth place here in the conference standings. And so we will run down the halftime stats here for you as St. Francis wins this one 54 to 50 over Grace. But before that, we'll get our postgame prayer. And so the Cougars shoot. 20 of 39, 51.3%, 5 of 18 from beyond the arc. 20 of 39, 51.3%, 5 of 18 from beyond the arc here in this one. And 9 of 11 from the charity stripe. They win the rebounding battle 27 to 16. And meanwhile, Grace shoots 18 of the 46, a 39.1%, and 4 of 16 from beyond the arc here in this one. So St. Francis, a winner, 54 to 50 over the Grace Lancers. We thank you so much for watching here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.